Top 5 Fascinating Museum Exhibits Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Here are Top 5 Fascinating Museum Exhibits. Number 5. Pharaonic Antiques The Egyptian museum was built in 1901 and holds around 120,000 items, some of which are kept in storerooms. The museum boasts the largest collection of pharaonic antiques in the world. The building was broken into in 2011 during the Egyptian Revolution, and two display mummies were lost. Several other objects were also lost, stolen or damaged, only a few of which have been restored. The museum gallery offers captivating insights into ancient Egypt, with displays that include the gold mask of Tutankhamun, the prisoner tiles of Rameses III, a statue of Hatshepsut and a lot more. On April 3rd, 2021, 22 of the museum's mummies were transferred to the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in Fustat. This was done by means of a grand parade called the Pharaoh's Golden Parade. Number 4. The Beginning of the World In the cradle of humankind in South Africa sits the Murrapeng Visitor Center which is a heritage museum that displays fossils found in the area and other places. Fossils from some of the earliest known life forms on Earth. Fossil sites include Bolt's Farm where fossils dating back 5 million years have been discovered in Stagfontein, one of the world's richest hominid sites, an almost complete Australopithecus skeleton has been found. The Wonder Caves hold fossils of rodents, birds and frogs, while Dromolin is the site of 92 hominid specimen discoveries. The Visitor Center exhibits explain the beginning of the world and the development of life on Earth. The exhibits include introductions to DNA and evolution and detail the process of extinction. The center also includes a boat ride through the elements of fire, water, ice, earth and air and an explanation of the Gaia principle. Number 3. Shrine of the Book A wing of the Israel Museum in Givat Ram, Jerusalem, is dedicated to the Shrine of the Book which houses the seven Dead Sea Scrolls. The shrine resembles a white dome and has a pool of water surrounding it. The displays include the Isaiah scroll which dates to the 2nd century BC and is the most intact of the scrolls as well as the Aleppo Codex which is the oldest existing Hebrew Bible. The temple scroll is more than 8 meters long and is the longest of the Qumran scrolls, while the community rule scroll is believed to have been a rule book for the group of people who wrote the library of scrolls. They are said to have been a strict Jewish sect. The scrolls are not permanently on display due to their fragile state and are usually exhibited for around six months at a time. Number 2. Piedra del Sol The National Museum of Anthropology was opened in 1964 and is the largest museum in Mexico. It pays tribute to the indigenous peoples of the country with exhibits that display a host of objects celebrating their lives and cultures. The extensive collections to be found here include the pre-classic Central Highlands culture, the cultures of Oaxa, the Mayan culture as well as the Western and Northern cultures. One of the most magnificent objects to be found at the museum is the infamous Aztec sunstone, Piedra del Sol, that was discovered during repairs of the Metropolitan Cathedral in 1790. The stone weighs around 24 tons, and its true meaning and purpose remains a mystery. It was carved by the Mexica at the end of the Mesoamerican post-classic period and has been on display at the museum since its opening. The center of the stone is believed to depict the face of the solar deity, Tonatia, while the four squares that surround it represent the four previous suns or eras, namely four jaguar, four wind, four rain, and four water. Number 1. The Wonders of the British Museum Dedicated to human history, art and culture, the British Museum holds around 8 million pieces in its collection, which makes it one of the largest and most extensive museums in the world. It was also the first public national museum in the world. There are several departments within the museum that each depict a different part of the world, including Egypt and Sudan, Greece and Rome, the Middle East, Britain, Europe and prehistoric Asia as well as Africa, Oceania and the Americas. It is also the location of the famous Round Reading Room that saw visitors including Virginia Woolf and Karl Marx as well as Bram Stoker and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. At the British Museum, visitors can also see the Elgin Marbles, the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, the Rosetta Stone, the Black Obelisk as well as the Portland Vase. Currently, as the museum is closed due to lockdowns, enthusiasts can take a virtual tour of the Arctic exhibit that depicts the culture of the indigenous Arctic peoples and the dangers that global climate change possess to their home. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.